Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Keep It Clean with Crystal. I'm Christina. Hope y'all are having a good week. Yes. This week's kind of fast for me already. Yeah. Except it's also, I feel like it's been a week where I don't know what day it is. It's weird. Hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. What's going on for you? Um, we were just commiserating that our children don't listen to us. Is it like a full moon tonight or something like that? So that's awesome. Yeah. You know what is what is really funny about that is just today at work, I was walking down the hall after refilling my water bottle, and I was like, you know what? I've hit that stage in my career where when I tell people to do something, they do it. Uh huh. It would be really nice if that happened at home once in a while. Oh my gosh. Children, time to go to bed. Oh, yeah. but I'm just gonna. Uh, I, I no. Said it's bedtime. Yeah. Turn it off. Yeah. No, you don't need to do one more level on that car racing game. Yeah. My kids were crazy tonight. I literally at one point I was like, I love my children. I love my children. I love my children. I love my children. <laughs> Our so, uh, three-year-old, I may have mentioned this in one of the last weeks, just started getting out of his bed. So now he has like... He started getting out of his crib. His crib. So now yes. he took off the side. So it's like toddler bed thing, right? And so now it's like he comes out all the time. And I'm like... <sighs> We're doing some yoga breathing. So I put on his door last night one of those things where they can't, you know, figure out how to open the doorknob, turn the doorknob. Mm-hmm. Did he figure it out? No. Okay. Not yet. Our kids um, figured that out in like two days. I was really? like, really? Well, that did a lot of good. Yeah. Go bed. No, he didn't. Um, and I told him about it before he went to bed, like when we were in his room. But then he still like kind of freaked out the first time. And mm -hmm. anyway. <laughs> no, bedtime means put down whatever you're doing. Yeah. And go to bed. Yeah. And I like warn my children, like, okay, five minutes, and then five, like, the timer goes off, and then there's my still, children like, are old enough. One I don't... more, and I'm like, no, no one more. <laughs> the Legos will still be there tomorrow. Are you sure? You can put those two pieces together tomorrow. It'll be fine. <laughs> the world will not end. I know. Anyway, moving on. I know we're just preaching to the choir here, so it's fine. Yes. So, so we're having days. We're having days. Yeah. yeah. It's good though. We're still super blessed. We have beautiful, healthy, hashtag children. Hashtag blessed. Did you do this? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yep. Uh, hashtag blessed. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm in my workout clothes. I haven't washed my hair for days. I'm... Rocking the pony. Sounds right. Wearing my Zaya. <laughs> so, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, we found out some really exciting news yesterday. Guess we what? It was Arbonne's it. birthday yesterday. It was the official 40th birthday that we've been talking about all my weeks. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah. it's Arbonne's 40th birthday, but yesterday I think was the actual official day. The official day. And yeah, if you I'm know anything to, about Arbonne, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, they like to tease sometimes. They're so they like naughty. to tease that things are coming, yes. that surprises are happening, all, that we yeah, should, yeah. you know, get get all sorts of excited. Yes. Um, so we did that. We, we did all sorts of excited. We were like, "Oh, there's something, something was coming something's yesterday." Something's happening. And actually, one of the MVPs I follow online said. You know, something exciting is coming, and it's not products. Or she said it was a game changer, and it's not products. Oh, and right. I was like, hmm, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand. Look at that <laughs> Does not compute. Like, what's happening? Yeah. So yesterday was Arbonne's 40th birthday, and they announced that we officially received B Corporation certification. Very big deal. This is so cool. Very exciting. I did not know. I had heard the term B Corp. Yeah. I've heard that term before. Yeah. But I didn't really know what it was until Arban announced that they were going to be um, 
What's the word? Uh, Pursuing? Yes. B Corp certification yes. last May when yes. we were in GTC. So you may remember we us mentioning it at that point. Yes. That Arbonne was going to be pursuing it and like going down that path. Um, and so like at that point we were all Googling like B Corp, what like what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, so what does it mean, Christina? Basically it means that B corporations put equal weight on, um, um, environmental sustainability on, uh, worker happiness. Yeah. Like for their employees. Yeah. And um, profits. Yeah. Right? So it's like the trifecta yeah. of all of that. Isn't it called like triple net or something? Triple net. Yeah. Yes. We're learning all new things. Yes. It's all new. Yes. So most corporations are, I think, just C corporations. Yeah. That might be right. Um, which means basically they're out to make money. Right? Yeah. Like that's what they do. Yeah. Um, like they make decisions based on profit. Yes. Um, return on investment and, you know, all of those... Um, shareholders, yep. all of those good things. Stocks, if they're a, corp, if they're a um, public company. Yep. Yes. So anyways, so a B Corp, that's one of the three legs of the stool is profits. But yep. equal weighting is um, environmental and sustainability and then um, welfare of their employees. Yeah, basically. So this is such, this is a huge deal, you guys. There's only like just over 3,000 companies that have B Corp certification. And Arbonne is in the top 25, 25 largest. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really big deal. It's so cool. I went on the B Corp website yesterday to read like a little bit more about it. I didn't have a ton of time to, to watch through it. But I did, you can search for B Corp companies and I searched up Arbonne to see like what it said on there. And there is like 100% transparency with B Corps. Uh, and so you can actually click into, not that you guys would want to, but I did, um, click into like um, their application or if you will, um, like the questionnaire that they had to, that Arbonne had to fill out as mm -hmm. they like applied for this certification. And I was just skimming through and reading some of the questions that they answered. And I think I got through like, did you look at this? Mm -mm. I got through like page 12 and I think there was like 86 pages. Wow. And I was like, holy cow. I mean, yeah. like it's not a small thing. It's so cool. And to maintain your status, you have to go through regular audits and yep. stuff too. Like it's not just, oh, great, you did that one time, but yeah. you have to do it. I mean, that has to be your business model and it has yeah. to be proven. Yeah. Um, so yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's really, really awesome. Um, and just, again, like another, it's like so proud to be able to say that we're a part of this company who mm -hmm. I've always said, like, um, like Arbonne does the right thing. You know, we've talked a lot lately about um, the sustainability um, initiatives that Arbonne is undergoing. They have made a pledge to be zero waste by 2030. Yep. Um, we're already carbon neutral mm -hmm. um, in our, like, shipments and everything like that. And so... Um, like, it's just really cool. Yeah. So they're always changing packaging to be mm -hmm. more friendly and that sort of thing. So, yep. yeah. Sorry, my dog is whining. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's bothering you all. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> So. Yeah, so it's really neat. So the along with the B Corp certification, the other thing around sustainability that we've mentioned before, um, but it officially launched in the U.S. last week, mm -hmm. I think, and I don't think we've talked about it since then, but um, this program called, they're calling it Arbonne Cycle, yes. which is a partnership with a company called TerraCycle. So you can look up TerraCycle and see what they're all about, but essentially what TerraCycle does is take um, your hard to recycle products, things that you can't just put in your regular curbside pickup recycling, yep. and they turn it into things like park benches, playground equipment, stuff like that. Um, and so Arbon has partnered with TerraCycle to recycle our hard to recycle product packaging. Right. Um, and this is not a small thing. Like this is a huge investment from Arbon. Um, and they are making it so easy on us, the consultants, but also on you guys, the clients, preferred clients. Um, they've literally given us a really easy list of what can be Arbonne cycled. And all you have to do is... I laminated mine. Yeah, of course she did. What are you doing for me too? Okay, thanks. Yes. 
All you have to do is put your box, this is mine, this is a small one. I'm gonna, this one's full, so I'm gonna fill up a big one now. I have a big one to start with. Just put your box in, you know, our sits in our pantry or whatnot and throw your stuff in it when it's, you're done with it or whatnot. Like, yes. look in my box. Yeah, this one, we just got this a week ago, this big's gone. We go through these. There's so There's many. 30 servings in here. I make three smoothies a day for me and Levi. Yeah. So every 10 days, we're going through one of these bags. Yeah. So many protein bags. Uh, we did our seven day cleanse last week. Cleanses, yep. Yep. immunity support. I cannot even begin to tell you how many fizz stick wrappers are in here. There's only a couple in oh mine. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So many fist um, wrappers, um, yeah. all of my and then I'm just after gonna, workout wrappers. I'm just gonna start collecting pumps here. So, oh, and this, oh. I got some. Uh, oh yeah, I got some metabolism support as a free gift because Arbon likes to give their consultants free things. And inside of the container was this piece of cotton, cotton. Mm -hmm. and so now I can recycle that. Yeah. And then um, I think these are from the hand lotion. The hand, the hand um, wash, not the lotion. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. But yes, so the hand, the bottle went in the regular recycling. Mm -hmm. The pumps go in the Arbon recycling. Yeah. So I brought, I have a bunch of empty bottles and stuff at oh. my house. <laughs> the um, wand that I need to Arbonne cycle. And actually a handful of these things my mother-in-law brought to my house for me to Arbonne cycle. Mm -hmm. But I haven't referenced the list yet to make sure I'm doing it right. So I just brought them here. Okay, so let's go through them. Okay, Calm Face Wash. So I know that this bottom part can go in my regular recycling and then this can Arbonne cycle. Yes, the right? pump goes in Arbonne cycle. Okay, I just threw it on the table. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Okay, okay. Rescue and Renew Wash, this okay. bottle. Um. I gotta find it. I actually, I think that, think whole, that thing this is, whole thing can go in the regular recycle. Recycle that baby. This is one of our newer product lines, and um, you can tell that the packaging was developed with sustainability in mind. So that whole thing can go in my regular recycling. Yes. Okay. Um, which one is this? This is a toner. So the bottom part and the lid, the cap, yep. can go in my regular recycling, and yep. then this can Arbon cycle. Pump right? it. Yep, okay. right in there. Okay, so I got some more like that. This is my um, makeup setting spray. So I, is the pump for this on yep, there? Yep, just the pump. Everything else you can yeah, regular so cycle. even like, like this little piece on the top. Like all that's, sorry, regular recycling. Okay, that was chilly. Sorry, it's just setting spray. It's just, Put it on your face. It's just on my leg, but that's, oh, sorry. that's fine. I needed sorry. to set my leg. Sorry, <laughs> make sure it stays there. Yeah. Um, Pure Vibrance Hair Serum. Can this pump go in there? Um, well, let's see. I would guess so, but I'm not, I don't see the hair stuff on here. Okay, so I'll double check on that one. Yeah, because this I'm is- guessing the, it can. This is a product line that I think is going away because we have a new kind of hairline. Yeah. So it's probably why it's not listed. Yeah. So we'll double check on that one before I put it in there. Yeah. Makeup primer. Pump, makeup. Um, let's see. I gotta find it. The pump. Everything else can be regular cycled. Love it. Okay, we're getting there. What about our genius pads? So let's this can see. probably this whole thing be regular cycled. I think the whole thing can be, because then this is just plastic. Yeah. Okay, that's regular cycled. Oh, we already talked about that one. Oh, what I got some your... makeup stuff. Okay, makeup. Okay, so concealer. Concealer, the cap and the applicator. Okay, so this thing can go, go in there. There. Okay, and this part will go in my regular. Yes. Um, what about compacts? So this one is a pressed powder. Um, the much gone. Do, 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 do. the compact and the puff applicator from the sheer pressed powder can be Arbon cycled. Oh. I don't have the puff anymore, so I'll have to remember that for the new one that I just opened. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Arbon cycle. Sweet. Uh, shape it up brow pencil. Brow pencil, she is so fancy. I'm like, the cap and the applicator. So that's the whole thing. 
All right, throw it in there. Because there's two caps technically, but yeah. Okay, done to the last one. This is, I think, eye makeup primer. Yes. Yes. The eye makeup primer, I found that on here. Um, it's right here. The cap and the applicator. Oh my gosh, the whole thing. You guys, how cool is that? Done. And everything else left on the table can go in my regular recycling. So you should not need to throw anything of your packaging away in the garbage. Yeah. One more time for the people in the back. Do not throw any of your Arbonne packaging away in the garbage. Mm -hmm. You either regular recycle it or you Arbonne recycle it. And if you need, want more instructions on what can and cannot be recycled, yeah. please contact us or go to the Arbonne website. It will be listed on yeah. there as well. Yeah. We would love to help you. And if you need help printing out a label. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we didn't talk about that yet. Yes. Yeah, so, so we're filling up these boxes, right? Take right. your Arbonne box, any box, obviously, but like take your box and fill it up as much as you can, which is why I'm gonna transfer in there. I'm gonna transfer mine into a bigger box um, and fill up the biggest box I can. And then Arbonne has a website. You just go to their website and you print off a free prepaid shipping label, UPS shipping label, slap that on there and UPS, hi Matt, uh, <laughs> which he was just, hi, uh, will come and pick it up. So it doesn't cost you anything. You don't throw anything in the landfill and no. it doesn't cost you anything. I love it. It's so cool, you guys. That's it's it. It's so cool. It's so easy, it doesn't cost you anything. And look at all the good you're doing for the environment. So, so good. Keep it out of the landfill. Yes. So, doing all the things for the planet. That's what we do here at Arbonne. That's what we do. Yes. We do our part. We do our part. So, yes, if you guys have any questions about the program, how it works, what can go in there, if you need your own copy of the list, um, you want your, your own local laminated copy of the list. Just let me know. I got you. If you're local to us and you want to drop your stuff off with us, totally We're cool. happy to mail it back for you. Yeah, we can just add it to our box. That's not a problem. Um, I, those of you that work with me, I have a container at my desk, which is actually full of... I had to bring mine home today and yeah, throw it in I my big box. I needed to bring it home like yeah. a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's full of fistic wrappers and all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. Um, mind health wrappers. Yeah, mind health. Every uh, morning I have elixir. a every morning I have a mind health fizz combo with when I get to work. I really like it with strawberry. I do that too. <gasps> Most of the time I do pomegranate. Mm. And then a lot of times in the afternoon I mix my skin elixir with my strawberry. See, I put my skin elixir in my morning smoothie. I don't because I share that with my husband. Yeah, but see, I'm making three of them. I pour my lunch one and Levi's, and then I put oh. it back on the blender, put my Digestion Plus and my Skinny oh. Elixir in there, and that is mine. Then I pour I the rest see. of it into my morning cup. I see. There's a system and a process. I have a system and a process too. It just is not involve that, that it's, one extra little step that I never thought of. different than my process, and that's okay. That's true. That's true. It the only just thing gives that changes, my shakes, even though they're like the same, it just gives them a little bit different taste that's from true. breakfast to lunch. The only thing that changes about my process is whether I make mine and my husband's first or my boy's. Mm. Because if I start making mine first, my six-year-old is at the table like, Mom, are you making mine? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. How are they different? Um, I don't put fiber in the one for my boy's. Um... Well, I have more protein in ours. For my boys, I do two scoops as a serving. I do two scoops for them total mm -hmm. and then split it in half. So they're not getting... They're just getting one, one Half scoop. of a serving. Yeah. 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 Um, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same. I've started putting um, a Digestion Plus in theirs, just one. And so then mm -hmm. they're, that's our probiotic. So then they're getting half of that. Mm -hmm. um, so they're just getting a smaller amount yeah, um, really because they have than, smaller bodies. Yeah, than what we are. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same. They like blueberry, so I use wild blueberries for theirs. And then we usually do sometimes the blueberries or strawberries or usually like a triple berry. So, mm -hmm. but theirs has to be blueberry. 
We really so, like the, stuff like that. The, it's the same basic recipe. Yeah. We but. really like the cherry berry blend in our house. And we do that once in a while. So we have that all of the time. Yeah. And then um, this morning we were out of almond milk. It was oh. like a crisis. Bummer. I, so we made them with water, but then I wanted them to be a little creamier, so I threw in some frozen avocado. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Right now we're using the marble cake protein for ours because it is my absolute favorite. I can't believe it's still available to you guys. So I feel like we might need to order more. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, we already have one bake gone. We love it so much, but I've still been using our one chocolate, one vanilla for my boys because that's how they like it. And I'm not gonna waste my marble cake on them. Right? So, little little you know. people who don't listen at bedtime, you'll get mm -mm. the marble cake. No, uh-uh. You listen to your mama if you want yeah. marble cake protein, okay? Yeah, totally. What she said. <sighs> anyway, all right. So that's it, you guys. We're just so excited about the B Corp certification and Arbon Cycle and all of the awesome things that Arbon is doing in the name of doing the right thing. Right. And sustainability and ethics and all of those good things. Yeah. So love it. Feel super proud to be part of this company, especially right now with all of these exciting things going on. So that's it. That's it. Thanks for joining us. See you mm -hmm. next week. Bye.